Hey guys, Gavin Syme here. Want to show you some of the super cool new selection and control features in Loomist version 1.1. Now, when we launched, we emphasized the, the simplicity, right? Luminosity mass and selections, you shouldn't have to have a rocket science degree to deal with your tone. And so what we focused on in Loomis was simplifying that, bringing things together visually, bringing in the zones and making it simple. So I'm gonna build the tonal map here. Now you can see demos of this kind of stuff in other videos, but I'm gonna assume you know a little bit about Loomis. If you don't, head over to the page over at simefx.com and you can learn about Loomis. But I've built the tonal map, and of course what we're seeing right here is the visual representation of all of our tone values in this overlay, okay? And we can we can hide the map and we can show the map at our leisure. And then we're seeing those color codes and how they correspond to each zone that corresponds to Ansel Adams zone system. So we've kind of brought the old and the new together in a way that allows us to really have a lot of control and see everything that's going on in our images. This is something personally I've wanted for a long time just to be able to see all the tones and values. You know, I can look here and say, hey, Here's my, here's my highlights, here's my shadows, how am I using my total range, you know, where am I clipping? Well, here's a little clipping up here in my zone 10s, and Loomist has actions for fixing and for dealing with those things, and you can also take any of these selections, and you can apply them to any other layer or group that you want to, just like you would with a lumin luminosity mask or something like that, but with such an elegance and simplicity that I think you're really going to love it. What's really cool in version 1.1 is not only can we still make all these selections and see the map, now when you make a selection, it shows you. So it's actively, watch as I make selections here, and you can see this kind of green dotted overlay, and this has all been built in to the Loomis set. It gets even better though. Now we're looking at the image with the map, and I'm gonna hide the, hide the map, and you can see as I keep making selections, it's gonna keep showing me what I've selected. Now if I use uh, the feather commands, let's say from the simple toolbox, and so I feather this, maybe uh, feather and expand, right? It's actually showing me this overlay of what my selection is looking like that I'm going to be applying. And so I get this real-time overlay. Then I go and I say, all right, I want to manipulate this. Now I'm gonna deselect it, which is gonna re reset all of this. So let's say I say, zone three, zone four, and zone five. And I'm gonna feather those by 25, all right? So now I'm seeing this green dotted overlay that is revealing my selected area. And let's apply a lighten curve to this. And you can see just like that, it applies it to the selected area and then it hides everything away nicely. And if I go back and make selections again, we're just going to repeat. So you get this real time preview of what, what the selection's going to look like, what your mask is going to look like. Then you apply the mask with any of the mini effects and you're off and running. Now, of course, you could also take the selection and I could just say, all right, I like my selection. It looks good. I'm going to hide all of that, retain my selection, and I'm going to make a mask on an existing group. Or I'm just going to make a custom layer mask. So maybe I just want to do a levels layer mask with the selection that I just made. And so you're not limited in any way by the effects and tools that are in Loomis. Essentially, you have two categories here. You have the build map, which, which lays out and maps out the tones in your images. That then allows you to select any tone in the image. And then you have all these effects and tools and shortcuts to make things easier. But you can also just use that selection on any layer, uh, filter out any other action that you've run. Maybe there's another action from another set and you've run that action and now you wanna mask it out to a certain area. So I'm gonna go down to my Alchemist set and I'm just gonna say, hey, let's go down to Alchemist and run the Landscape Alchemy action. And so I run the action and it puts it on top of all these layers right down here in the layers palette. Everything looks good, but now I can go back because the Loomis map is already in the file here. So I'm gonna look at the map and I'm gonna say, okay, let's take like zone one, through six, okay? So zero, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take those, let's do one through five, and I'm gonna feather it by 25, okay? So you can see down here, I've just loaded up my selection based on my zones, it's giving me a real-time preview, and now I still have right down here my landscape alchemy action that I just ran from another action collection. Now I'm just gonna click this mask out non-selected and it's gonna mask the layer 
from that file, from that group, it's going to update the mask. And so we're just continuing with this forward momentum, able to use the selections, use our map. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the total map so I can now see an updated version of what all my tones and zones are. And there we are. It works with anything. It's fluid, it's powerful, and the control is always right here at our fingertips. But just wanted to show you kind of what's new in version 1.1. Of course, if you're new to Loomis, watch the full training video. Uh, the link is included with Loomis that gets into detail. But one of our really cool features, aside from just some streamlining of the effects and the layers and things like that to make the, the tonal map really simple to manage, is these selections that give you that real-time preview of those selections. It's very cool, it's very powerful, and I think it's just gonna make it that much easier and more visual. And look, we're visual people. We're trying to manage these tones and bring it out. We want to be able to see and manage and control that digital darkroom with, with the ability to, at the same time, stay focused on what matters, stay focused on, on what vision we had for our image and not have to be worrying about all these layers and management and stuff like that. Loomist makes that easy, and in 1.1, it makes it even easier. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think.